Hello, hi, Vibe Tribe. It is Pink Bella. Welcome back to my channel. And this is going to be a, an Ascension update uh, for all starseeds, lightworkers, empaths, 144,000. And for all you grid keepers, I'm going to be talking about the new earth grid work, about us healing um, a lot of things that were distorted when Atlantis fell. And I also want to talk today about um, how all of the animals are being affected right now by not only the solar flares, but by the toxins that are in the food and the water. So many of them are experiencing um, physical symptoms. So I wanted to share about that. So everybody, if you have pets or you work with animals, um, you need to kind of have an idea what's going on. I'm also going to be sharing with you uh, an upcoming grid assignment and what we're doing and why we're doing it. And that's going to be stabilizing the grids on the east coast of the USA, of Canada. And also uh, part, of that, part of that work will encompass London, England, and the Archangel Michael Ley Line. This is to help stabilize the grids before the solar eclipse that's going to go over North America and Canada uh, on April 8th. And that's a full total solar eclipse. And then I'm going to just share with you a little bit more about uh, the upcoming grid work and working with the dragons as well. So let's get started. I created a little, a little slideshow. So let me just, there we go. I haven't done this for a while. So this is all for those of you who are new. Welcome. Welcome to my channel. For those of you who are um, regular subscribers, so grateful for you all. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing this content out. And um, in your comments below, let me know if you are already a grid keeper, if you have any questions. And I'm just so excited. So this came in last year. So my background is I'm a quantum Akashic healer reader i work i do grid work i've been doing grid work for years even before there was a label for it i'm on the west coast of canada outside vancouver british columbia so i have a big scope at the pacific northwest and i've also been traveling and doing grid work for many many years including hawaiian islands africa europe um australia i lived in australia for a while so I work with many benevolent ET councils and I've been calling recently, they've given me like the names that I can use now. So the earth Alliance, which are there's aspects here on the planet that are working with the off planet ETs, the off planet ETs would be galactic and intergalactic alliances of the light. And they are helping facilitate this galactic ley line project. So what we're doing is we're many of us are healing and clearing the old grid system. We're clearing density. But we're also upgrading this overlay for new earth. And this is where I'll, I'll, I'm going to go into some uh, images about what we're changing. We're going from a dark, dense energy to a lighter energy. And what they're sharing with me is that many of us are, are facilitating different types of grid work. But my work specifically is working with these um, off and on planet alliances because we're preparing for the new earth and we're preparing to be able to go back to teleportation and using stargate systems and transporting on off planet when needed that sort of thing okay and also for them to come on planet it's also where uh i'm working as well i've been working very deeply with the dragons since july 2017 but now they're here on planet and they're working with me and i'm helping many of you work with them as well so a lot of this, the reason there's been sort of a time pressure, and I started working on this last year, I worked with a beautiful group of goddesses. We anchored in divine goddess codes for the Lemurian grid, which was the west coast of Canada and Hawaii. And then um, we did a piece for California as well. And this next piece is for healing the Atlantean grids, and it's going to be New York and uh, Nova Scotia, Canada. And then, like I said, London, UK in England as well. So the solar flares, what's the, they wanted me to share a couple topics. We're going to talk about the solar flares and the solar eclipse, animals and how they're affected. I think I already went through all of this. Uh, so the solar flares are getting stronger and stronger. They are going to continue to get stronger. It is an alternate way of bringing in this massive solar flash. So I did a deep dive on it and I'll look at it again soon. But my understanding is, is that the solar flash was sort of a like we may have to bring that in to completely change the reality for all of us and move us all over to the fifth dimension to the new reality but what they're doing is they're doing it one step at a time so the solar flares are going to continue to get stronger and stronger and this is also impacting our animals 
because we're moving from a dense 3D planet to a 5D energy and reality, okay? So let's talk about the animals. Um, I have um, pets, and I know that you, many of you do too. My kitty is my touchstone. He actually often lets me know when there's a big astrology transit or there's a solar flare, he'll have a reaction. He'll either be, like the rest of us, he'll either be super sleepy or he won't be able to sleep. He'll be off his food. He'll have... Um, he will not be able to eat. He'll be nauseous, that kind of thing. Very similar to us. So a couple of weeks ago, he started to have some new symptoms. And I've been, I placed him on a crystal grid. So for those of you who don't know, I do do pet healing and communication. And um, I do facilitate that uh, as distance healing. So I put him on a crystal grid and I've been communicating with him. And he needs some changes in his diet. He's needed some supplementation, um, some vitamin support, some omegas. And he's also, I'm also looking for something else for him as well. When I, when I pick up the other new product, I'll let you all know, but that's what he was sharing with me is to let me know that all of the animals right now are needing more support. Even if you're feeding them home food, even if like I've been feeding him really, really high quality food that's made here locally, but even that right now seems to be tainted a little bit. It's changed. And why is that? Because there's more toxins than all the food in the air it's starting to impact the animals. I know a lot of animals are losing fur. He went through a big shedding phase a couple of weeks ago. He's doing much better now since I switched up some things in his diet. But I know that there's a big theme right now where even cats are losing so much hair on their bellies. Um, same with dogs, et cetera, because they're very close to the ground and they're experiencing the dense energy plus the food. So if we think about the last four years of the distortion in our air and water, based on things that have been going, the agenda that's been going on, we have this other, all that food thing is now impacting our animals. And so they're going to need some support. So just to let you all know that our animals are absolutely affected. They're not just being affected by the solar flares. They're now being affected by the food and the water uh, resources. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the next slide. So this is what the grid up until now has looked like because it's when earth fell, and it was connected to the fall of Atlantis. That's just a small part of the history. It's like a black web was placed around the planet. And it has been, you know, fairly protected in the outside. But the, for all the beings down here who've been, been down here, it's been like we've been in this, you know, for a while it was like everybody was asleep, didn't know what was going on. But now that we know, we're literally clearing up the cobwebs. We're releasing them and letting them go. Some of the ley lines of vortexes are so damaged that the galactics are just bringing in and overlaying a new grid system, which is what a lot of us are doing. Okay. And we're moving to this. So this is the image that they gave me that someone created. And I, uh, what I'm personally working with is the divine goddess aspects to anchor in this unconditional love and divine feminine coding that has been missing from our planet and the grid system for thousands of years okay so that's what that's what when i um say that i'm doing grid grid work with all of you and or with um groups that's what we're doing this is what that what it's going to look like and what it's starting to look like so if you are interested in learning how to do grid work um, I do offer personal one-on-one -on -one training. There's also an opportunity right now, and I think I have another slide for it, um, to do a group, group grid work assignment together online. So that's starting tomorrow, February 22nd, okay? So it, all um, levels of grid work, even if you've never done grid work before, are welcome because the group grid work, what's so amazing, this is only the second time I've offered this, is as a group, we do a quantum healing together and realign and get anchored in with the divine goddess codes. And then we go and do the assignment as the second part. And it's a guided meditation. And all of us um, have an individual way of sharing these divine goddess codes. And we also work with the dragons. Okay. So it's all, it's very unique. Just wanted again, a little review. Of, these are sort of two of the main dragon ley lines on the planet and the dragons are, are absolutely here physically they're they've got their own mission so they're not only working on the dragon ley lines they're working on all raising up the vibration and clearing the density underground on the overlays they're working all all on all dimensions all realities okay so even though it doesn't look like there's a um 
a big vortex on the west or east coast of the United States. So you can all just look at that map and kind of see where the red um, circle is, where Mount Shasta is. So this next, I don't have a slide for it today, but this next solar eclipse is going to come in through Texas and go all the way up through New York um, into Canada and then out. It's going to impact over 30 million residents because this solar eclipse is going to transform everything in its path. And we're going to feel those effects. We're already starting to feel it, but we're going to feel those effects for the next six months. Okay. Let's go to the next slide. All right. This is just a little image of some of the powerful vortex and ley lines that go through the U.S. as well. Now, what's interesting is when I look at the main one that's heading up from the south all the way through Washington, D.C. and then up to New York, that's pretty close to what the solar, this total solar eclipse path is. Every solar eclipse path is different. We're learning something new. Every time there's an eclipse, there's going to be an absolute powerful transformation of this energy. Um, in that pathway. So it's really going to impact the USA and Canada in a very positive way, but there's going to be a massive transformation in the next six months. Okay. All right. So um, the first assignment, the reason they gave me New York is because New York is where many immigrants came into the U S there's three, three portals. They came in for quite a period of time and New York has very powerful ley lines and vortexes. And there's also some healing work um, that we're going to be working on to help stabilize the grid. The reason we're, we're stabilizing the grids before the eclipse, that's what the galactic team it says. It gave me the message that it's important because they um, there's so many people that live on the East Coast and stabilizing the grid system before the eclipse will actually help support that there aren't, aren't um, any, you know, sudden storms or quakes or that kind of thing. Okay, so New York's our main stop. We're going to be working on the grids there on the East Coast that will that feed into the city and also on Long Island as well. All right. This is called the Divine God Goddess Coast. So I'm sending a, a clarion call out. If you feel you'd like to work, uh, work with an amazing group of goddesses, we do the work online. The calls are also recorded. You have an opportunity to join. It starts tomorrow, but you can still receive the recording. Assignment number one, New York, like I just mentioned. Assignment number two will be Nova Scotia, Canada, also on the East Coast. Assignment number three will be London, UK, and healing and uplifting the Archangel Michael ley line, which goes all the way down through Europe as well. All right, so it's super exciting. And I, again, this is the only the second time I've offered this assignment. I started this last year. And there's the visuals of everywhere that we're going to be working together. It's pretty amazing. Okay. I'm also for the first time offering group uh, dragon activation calls. So there's still an opportunity to join another one this month on Monday, the 26th. It's also recorded. You'll meet your guardian dragon. There's a quantum Akashic clearing and healing, and there's going to be a dragon activation with Archangel Michael and his deep blue dragon. And this is to help put more tools in our toolbox to be these angelic Jedi warriors and do, um, you know, help facilitate our missions as well. So there's still time to join that. And of course, the dragon activation package. So I work with you one on one and you receive an individual dragon activation each session. Um, there's also a divine goddess code session. And that's, it's different in a way that you're being aligned with a goddess like Mother Mary has her own dragon. So with the divine goddess codes, you're, you're being activated with the divine goddess codes. And then you'll be aligned as an example with Mother Mary and her uh, pink rose dragon. Okay. So that's sort of the difference, but those are a couple different ways to meet, greet and work with the dragons with uh, pink Bella. Okay. So again, we're working on stabilizing these grids and creating a new Atlantis. And actually what I love about this image is it's very similar to a lot of portals around the world, including, um, there's a similar, um, there's a similar structure both in New York and in Paris. So I thought that this is really, really, um, a beautiful image. Okay, that is it. That was our last assignment. So I will end on this. Is there anything else that they want me to share about? Um, just, just that the, the grids that we're elevating, this is going to be like an ongoing assignment. 
but the grids that were elevating, the reason I'm, I was even guided to start offering even earth grid training, which I do. I also offer earth grid training sessions. You can go out and do grid work in your own area. And I align you with tools to do that is because we're, we all as star seasons, light workers as 144,000 came in knowing we had multiple skills and we are the boots on the ground. So we are the facilitators to activate the light in the grids and to raise the vibration. And that's helping all of us elevate out of the old matrix. And it's also helping and assisting um, all of the beautiful um, souls awaken and help the collective awaken as well. So I think that that's enough today for our update. I just wanted to share with you. Oh, yes, I did have a little bit of an update here locally. So I've just been um, locally been guided to go into Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada for the um, just recently, a couple days ago, and then two weeks ago. And we did a big grid portion for Vancouver uh, last year as part of the Lemurian grid. So what I noticed two weeks ago was it, it felt different in essence that it didn't it felt like I was on a movie set actually um, everything is so quiet now compared to how it was before I used to live and work in the city and it was a very vibrant area now it's very um, quiet but it, the energy two weeks ago uh, felt felt uh, like tiring felt heavy in, in a different way I, I can't really explain it because I lived and worked down there for 10 years, but it just felt like everything had changed. It felt like a lot of, a lot of people have left actually. It felt like there aren't as many people like living and working down there. So that's interesting. That's what it felt like as well. So anyway, I was guided to go and um, do some good work at a government um, building. And I went in with the archangels and with the dragons and they kept me in there working for like two and a half hours and it was tiring. And when I got home, I had to have a sleep. Like it was really, really exhausting. And I shared a little bit about this today um, on another podcast. But they asked, my my guy said, once I woke up, you need to watch the original Ghostbusters because you and the dragons cleared out these um, dark dogs that were, the, if you go watch the movie, there's these dark dogs that are protecting um working the building that she, uh, Sigourney Weaver lived in and she, they sort of took her over. So that's what they said. We shared, uh, we cleared out this building. So then, um, and again, this is why a lot of our third eyes aren't open. So we're not in fear. We're not, you know, we can go into the cities and not see so much and not feel so much, but I definitely felt there was so much work being done there with the dragons. So I was called back again, uh, two days ago to go and pick up something. And honestly, there's nothing else going on in this building except for this office. It's like the building is a set. There's, it's like, it's placed there for us to go and get work. And I was guided. The reason it felt like that for me is because I was literally going into an intergalactic office. So but the other thing they shared with me is that we did all the healing and clearing and the, the beings that were attached to that building are now gone. And so that made me very happy. And I came back and I had lots of energy. I, it felt so different. So that's just an example of how powerful our new earth grid work is. And I hope that that speaks to your heart and that you're, you, if you're doing grid work, just knowing that the work that you're doing is valuable you want to learn how to do grid work and help um, your area, um, then reach out. Okay, so all of those are on offer till the end of February. And the goddess group grid work starts tomorrow, February 22nd. And the uh, dragon group call, the second one, and I don't know when there's gonna be another one. That's Monday, the 26th as well. All right, sending you all love and aloha. So grateful to be here. Thank you, everyone. Love and aloha from Pink Bella. And yes, please comment down below you're doing grid work, if you have questions and how your animals are doing as well. All right. Sending aloha. Take care. Bye everyone.